Good morning, everyone. Yesterday, our Palm Beach Synagogue barbecue competition team, which is called Burnt Offerings, went to Jacksonville to compete in a non-Jewish barbecue competition, and they were the only kosher barbecue team. And guess what? They won first place in every single category. Now, it's amazing because this past week's Torah portion was all about kosher. And here, everyone at the barbecue competition saw that kosher food is the best food, not just spiritually, but physically, the tastiest. Well, right after last week's Torah portion, which is about kosher, we come to the laws of Lashon Hara, the prohibition against speaking negatively about others, speaking gossip or slander. And... Rabbi Yisrael Salanter asks, why is it that the laws of improper speech follow the laws of kashrut, of eating kosher? And he says something very powerful. He says that just as it's important to only eat kosher food, to only consume food that is kosher, just like we have to be careful that everything that goes into our mouth is perfectly kosher, glot kosher, so too we have to be equally important that everything that comes out of our mouth is glot kosher, is perfectly kosher. God teaches us that our words can either harm or heal. And therefore we always have to choose to use words that will heal and never hurt words that will hurt. Now when somebody spoke negatively, they were afflicted with Sarat, which was a spiritual malady that had a physical manifestation. And in order to determine if they had this spiritual leprosy, which wasn't really leprosy, but it was called Sarat, because it was similar to leprosy, they were brought to Aaron the high priest. Why were they brought to Aaron the high priest? Because he would determine whether it was Sarat. But why Aaron? And the answer is that sometimes a person says, yes, I spoke negatively, but it was justified for one reason or another. So we bring the person to Aaron. Aaron was the ultimate lover of mankind, a peacemaker who would go out of his way to even exaggerate and tell white lies to diplomatically restore peace between one person and the next. Teaching this person, you may have reasons or justifications why you said something negative about someone else, but you know what, look at Aaron. Aaron teaches us that as important as it is to be truthful, it's even more important to be a peacemaker. And therefore, even if what you said is true, if it's going to cause a rift and a division amongst people, then it's not justified at all. And furthermore, perhaps you're not like Aaron. You're looking at the negative, you're focusing on what's wrong, rather than focusing on the good parts and the virtues of the individual. There's a story told that there was this Hasidic Jew praying at the grave of Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, a great Hasidic master who's buried in Uman. And he sees this young man with orange looking hair, reddish orange hair, and he has long peyote sideburns coming down from the side of his face, which wasn't unusual because he was a Hasidic Jew. But then when he turns around, he sees he has a long ponytail behind his head. And he's shocked, he's trying to figure out, is this guy like a hippie or is he a Hasidic Jew? He's never seen a Hasidic Jew with long sideburns with a ponytail, a long ponytail. So when he finished, he said to him, tell me, why is it that you have peyote like a Hasidic Jew, but a ponytail like a hippie? And he said, I'll tell you why. There's this girl I know in the community who is a cancer patient and she lost all her hair. And they're trying to make a wig for her. But the problem is her hair color is orangey reddish hair. That's very hard to find a wig of natural hair. So I've been growing out all my hair for the past eight months so they could cut off all my hair and make a wig for this girl. Sometimes we prejudge people and therefore Aaron teaches us, make sure whatever comes out of your mouth is kosher and make sure you're looking at the good and make sure you're fostering love and unity amongst your fellow man, never rift and division. Have a wonderful day.